Hare Krishna. Welcome back to the series of discussing Bhagavad Gita. Today we shall be discussing the first verse from the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Chalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kalpa Taru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vhevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. So the very first verse from the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita is Sanjaya Uvacha, Tam Tatha Kripaya Vishtam, Ashrupurna Kolekshanam, Vishidantam Idam Vakyam, Uvacha Madhusudana, Sanjay said, Seeing Arjun full of compassion, his mind depressed, his eyes full of tears, Madhusudan, Krishna, spoke the following words. So here, Sanjay is narrating to Dhritarashtra. At the conclusion of the first chapter, Arjun kept aside his bow and arrow. And he told Krishna, Krishna, I will not fight. So this must have given a great joy to Dhritarashtra, who was hearing the Bhagavad Gita, who was hearing Sanjay giving narration to what's transpiring on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. But in this verse, Sanjay is uh, using the word Madhusudana. Uvacha Madhusudana. Madhusudana, Krishna is going to speak. So Krishna's name Madhu Sudana is very significant. Madhu was a demon and Krishna killed that demon. Madhu and Ketava, there were two demons, Krishna killed them. So therefore Krishna's one of the name is Madhu Sudana, the one who killed the demon Madhu. So here Arjun has developed a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding of identifying himself with the body, identifying his relatives with their bodies and therefore he is feeling compassion. Tam tatha kripaya avishtam. Kripaya avishtam. He is overwhelmed with compassion or kripa. But that compassion is for the body. He doesn't want the body of his relatives like Bhishma his teacher like Drona and other relatives to be destroyed. So, his compassion, his kripa is for the body. Where to apply that compassion? Arjun has lost that, um, that understanding. Therefore, he has developed this misunderstanding about kripa or compassion. And the net result is Ashru Purna Kulekshan. Therefore, his eyes are filled with tears. Compassion specially has to be applied. But where to apply the compassion is actually very significant. Suppose the man is drowning in the river or in the ocean and somebody sees, oh, the man is drowning. And suppose the man is wearing a nice coat or suit. He's wearing some nice uh, earrings and he's wearing some nice rings, golden, very precious stone rings. So if somebody is is lamenting, oh, oh, just see the nice suit is drowning. Oh, just see the beautiful ring with, with precious stones is drowning. Nice earrings are drowning. People will call him fool because compassion is not or the lamentation is not befitting for the belongings like that. Similarly, the body that we have is also nothing but one of the outer covering. It's like a dress for the soul. The soul is given this body which is like a dress. So when the dress is drowning, nobody laments. You lament for the people. Suppose, you know, somebody dies drowning in the river and the ocean. 
you don't see the headline oh such a nice precious suit which was three thousand dollars worth drowned no you never get the headline you get the headline such and such person drowned and died even if he was wearing the most precious suit or some precious jewelry nobody really talks about it whenever there's a air crash no whenever there's an airplane crash you never see the headline it says um, 100 million dollars worth airplane crashed no 100 people died in air crash that's what it makes headline so uh, nobody uh, laments for the dress of the drowning man nobody laments for the outer coverings so arjun's lamentation is actually uh, misunderstanding his misunderstanding about the self the soul and the body so this kind of lamentation is generally people who lament in this way in vedic culture they were called as less intelligent people or shudras shudras are the people who lament over useless things current society we see most of the population is more or less shudras because they lament over unnecessary things where there should be lamentation they have no care or concern about but they lament over useless things so this is some substance of this words uh, from the second chapter of bhagavad gita thank you very much hare krishna